Hello everyone and welcome to this session on Agile Project Management. Agile Project Management is defined as an incremental and iterative approach to delivering project requirements throughout the life cycle of a project. Agile Project Management has its roots in iterative project management. It is a highly flexible and interactive model where requirements and the overall project plan are regularly updated to meet the changing requirements from stakeholders, suppliers and customers. In this session you will learn all about agile project management. So let's start the session. But before we begin the session, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you'll never miss any update from us. Let's discuss our agenda. The first agenda that we have here is SDLC. Then we will move on to discussing what is agile project management. Then comes the tenets of an agile approach, key components, all the methods involved who are basically the users and finally the benefits of agile project management before we talk about agile we first need to understand what is sdlc so within a software organization software development life cycle or sdlc is a detailed strategy and adaptability an agile or iterative strategy strives to deliver benefits throughout the process rather than just at the end trust adaptability empowerment and cooperation should all be essential ideals and behaviors in agile initiatives with that being said let's move on to our next agenda the tenets of an agile approach the agile ideology emphasizes empowered individuals and their relationship as well as early and consistent value delivery into an organization when the pressure to perform is greater than the risk Agile project management focuses on providing maximum value against business priorities in the time and money allotted. The following are some of the principles. The project divides the requirement into smaller chunks, which the team then ranks in order of importance. Collaboration is encouraged in the agile project, especially with the customer. At frequent intervals, the agile project reflects, learns, and adjusts to guarantee that the customer is always satisfied and that the benefits are delivered agile approaches combine planning and execution allowing a company to develop a working attitude that enables a team to adjust quickly to changing needs now let's take a look at the key components of an agile approach agile project management primarily has six key components and they are user stories simply put a user story is a high level description of a task it gives just enough information for the team to come up with a credible estimate of the time it will take to complete the request this brief straightforward explanation is written from the user's point of view and focuses on describing what your client wants and why do they want so next we have product roadmap creation a roadmap is a list of features that will be included in the final product because your team will construct these specific features throughout each sprint this is an important part of an agile planning cycle you will also create a product backlog at this time which is a list of all the features and deliverables that will go into the final product your team will extract tasks from this backlog when planning sprints later next we have sprint planning before each sprint begins the stakeholders must attend a, a sprint planning meeting to identify what each individual will do during the sprint how it will be accomplished and assess the task load it's critical to equally distribute the workload among team members so that they can complete their assigned duties during the sprint for team openness shared understanding and detecting and reducing bottlenecks you will also need to visually describe your workflow next we have sprint sprints are short iterations of 1 to 3 weeks in length during which teams focus on tasks set out at the sprint planning meeting as time goes on the goal is to keep repeating these sprints until your product is future ready after the sprint you analyze the product to see what is working and what is not make improvements and start a new sprint to improve the product or service next we have the stand up meetings daily stand up meetings often known as daily scrum meetings are an excellent approach to keep everyone on track and informed These meetings are usually short and to the point. Last component that we have here is backlog. 
Project requests become outstanding stories in the backlog as they are added through your intake mechanism. Your team will estimate narrative points for each task during agile planning meetings. Stories from the backlog are added into the sprint to be performed during the iteration that is done during sprint preparation. In an agile context, managing your backlog is critical for project managers. With that being the last component, Let's move on to our next agenda, that is, the methods involved. As Agile became a popular topic at the turn of the century, numerous frameworks jumped on the bandwagon and quickly rose to prominence, like Scrum, etc. Many firms pursuing true business agility, on the other hand, discovered that overly prescriptive frameworks and agility are diametrically opposed. Kanban, Scrum, and Scrumban are the most prominent Agile project management frameworks or approaches that are present today. Let's start with Kanban. It is a method that was developed over a decade ago. It focuses on ongoing process improvement and evolutionary development. The six key practices of the technique are as follows. Improve cooperation by visualizing work, limiting work in progress, managing flow, making process policies explicit, implementing feedback loops, and improving collaboratively. Next up we have Scrum. Many people mistake Scrum for an agile methodology, although it is essentially a prescriptive framework. It is an iterative approach that divides projects into set periods called sprints and uses time-boxed intervals. The primary goal is to assist teams in delivering high-value products in a productive and creative manner. There are three roles that cannot be changed in a Scrum. Owner of the product, the Scrum master, and the team. Customers and other stakeholders are represented by the product owner. He or she organizes and manages the product backlog, which is a priority task list of all the product's work items. The Scrum Master, on the other hand, is a servant leader of the team who focuses on leadership and assists everyone in understanding and applying the rules appropriately. And lastly, we have Scrum Ban. As Kanban became increasingly popular, Individuals in the Agile community recognize an opportunity to create a system that allows Scrum teams to focus on continuous improvement and evolutionary change while moving forward. Scrum Ban was born as a result of this. It's worth noting that 81% of Scrum Masters use Kanban in addition to Scrum. Scrum Ban applies Kanban's concepts and practices to Scrum while also removing some rules. Now let's move on to our next agenda that who are the users or who uses Agile project management. The Agile project management approach, which was originally developed for software development, is increasingly being adopted by more than just ID teams, marketers, universities, the military, and even the automobile industry are using it, Agile methodologies and frameworks to develop creative products in difficult circumstances. Agile project management may help a wide range of enterprises and it's simple to set up and use. When deciding to establish or improve as existing technology in the software sector, the ultimate product can be difficult to describe. Agile allows for this ambiguity since it enables project direction to alter as work progresses into the future. While Agile software books and coaches can help you put together an Agile methodology that works for you, and your team, each Agile team is unique and understanding the basics can help you build together an Agile methodology that works for you and your team. Now let's move on to the benefits of Agile working. The first benefit that we have here is Agile methods empower people involved, hence increasing accountability, promoting a variety of ideas, allowing early benefits release and promoting ongoing improvement. Second benefit is Agile can be effective in promoting cultural change, which is important to the success of most transformation projects because changes are progressive and evolutionary rather than revolutionary. As a result, it can assist in creating client and user involvement. Agile permits decision gremlins to be tried and rejected early, whereas the waterfall model does not. Agile's tight feedback loops bring benefits that, again, the waterfall model does not. So that's it for this video. Thank you.
Just a quick info guys, if you want to make a career in software engineering, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification program on software engineering and application development by ENICT Council of IIT Guwahati. And it is taught by IIT Guwahati professors and industry experts. This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job.